All right, guys, welcome back. Another day out in the garage. Um, I'm just doing a bunch of little things, nothing big. Don't want to get in, involved in anything too crazy. Just trying to relax on my day off, but uh, I'm sick of looking at these wheels being gold, even though they're not going to be used at all. They're just rollers, but I'm sick of looking at them. Sprayed them black. Um, made these pieces a while ago little aluminum mirror deletes I'm gonna go ahead and rivet those on just want to get it overall looking a little better so when I walk in here I'm actually motivated I put this molding back on where the window was just to clean it up a little bit but I got around to finishing the brake lines everything is done and tightened not putting fluid in it yet. That can wait till the end, but uh, you should better look at everything. Came out pretty good. I hope all the flares are good because I'm not going to find out until we go to fill it with fluid and bleed it. But that was a lot of work. I think it was like around 20 flares by hand that I had to do because I remade the the lines and you're not gonna be able to see them remade the complete front lines they come out and go right back in right there bent up some lines off of the master and they go straight in here to a little rubber plug I found the other front line comes in from there hard to see bad lighting in here but uh, yeah, those are all completely done and tight. I sent them through the firewall under there and above the steering column. Because I didn't want to interfere with the pedal assembly at all. Since it's not in there right now, wasn't really sure where it was going to be, what was going to be in the way. So went a different direction. And uh, yeah, this is all the same under here for right now. But... Like I said, I want to get get it looking a little nicer, so I'm motivated when I come out here, so I'm working on the molding right now. <clears throat> I previously sprayed this, I don't even know, it was probably a month and a half, two months ago. I sanded them, prepped them, and painted them, and the paint just, just didn't hold, didn't stick well. There was a lot of imperfections in it, a lot of fish eyes. So I just re-sanded them all again, and I'm going to go ahead and put another coat of paint on them and hope that they don't look like shit, because I really, this is going to be the last time I'm painting them, so whatever they look like after this, they're going on the car, but that's really going to transform the look of the car with the molding back on there. Uh, this is some shitty wheel I had that I got with a parts car. I got a pile of mismatched wheels outside. I just threw it on there. It's almost the same color as the car, but it's not. I don't know what it is, a Rota Circuit 10 or something like that. I only had one of them, but overall it looks a little better. We're painting the front wheel black, and then I get the molding on. And this side will look pretty complete. It almost looks like a car. I got the rear calipers and everything on. That was a nightmare. I didn't film it because I thought it was going to go pretty smooth and quick, pretty straightforward. And turns out one of the calipers was seized and I unseized it, cleaned it all up, put it back together and then checked the bleeder screw and that was seized too. I snapped the bleeder screw off and then I had to drill it out, tap it, put a new bleeder screw in it. So probably should have recorded it because it would have been a uh, a lot of content but I was hoping it was gonna go smooth so I didn't record any of it and uh, that's where we're at right now I'm gonna work on getting some paint on here and hopefully put these on and see what it looks like get back to you in a little bit all right through first coat on here and it appears to be actually laying down pretty good so let this tack up for about 10 minutes and then I'm gonna go ahead and 
put another coat on it. What I'm using is this old can of bumper coating that I have because the shit that I was using, if I can find a can of it, was the new style. Oh, duh, right here. Actually, it's a different company, that's why. This is Rust-Oleum, and that's Duplicolor. But I can't find that stuff anymore. And this is all I can find. And I don't like this shit. But this stuff. Always laid down nice. And just now I'm realizing that it's a different brand. So, maybe I'll take a look and see if I can still source some more of this. But, yeah, this stuff lays down way nicer. And get back to you in a little bit after another coat. Well, ran out of paint. Got a second coat on them. And they look pretty flawless compared to, uh, I should have showed them to you before I sanded them down. The big ones still don't look as good because they were kind of sun baked and it's a different material than the quarter and the fender ones, but these ones look amazing. Those ones still look better than they did, so that'll work. Let these dry and pop them on. And it's going to make this car look a million times better, so. Got some weirdo in my yard trying to put LEDs in his BMW. Fancy. He's, he's having trouble. I'll probably have to assist him. But, yeah, we're going to let these dry and pop them on and... Maybe in the meantime, I'll drill some holes and rivet these uh, mirror deletes on. We'll be looking all right. Get back to you shortly. Well, molding's on. Hope it looks as good on camera as it does in person, but got the mirror delete on. Oh, kicking stuff over. It really makes it look like a completely different car with the molding on it. Hope the camera's doing it justice because in person it looks amazing. Almost looks complete. Even though it's clearly far from complete, but. Huge difference. Not really sure what I'm gonna do next. Gonna keep working on, keep working on it for a little bit. See what I can get done. But for now, looks pretty damn good. Well, Brian found a little screaming deal on Facebook Marketplace, so eh, we went and picked it up. $700, so if anyone wants to buy it. <laughs> what was that, like an hour and 15, hour and 20 minute drive we took to get this? Yeah, it was uh, 100 and, 170 miles. Something like that. It was trip. pretty ridiculous. But uh, kid posted it for sale. It's an LS from a 2000 Integra. It had an automatic trans mated to it. Obviously, it was out of an automatic. We didn't want the trans. He posted it for 200 bucks with the transmission. Complete deal. And... Uh, Brian sent him a message and asked him if he'd take a hundred for just a motor and separate it and Surprisingly he agreed to it. So we just jumped in the truck and shot right out there Cleaning it up right now, but as you can see, it's really not bad looking Yeah, you can't touch an LS for a hundred dollars. That's complete. I mean it's everything distributor manifold rail obviously it's automatic so we can't use the half shaft or anything <laughs> He wants to resell it, but I think this is going to be the easiest deal for us to get this car running. Pull the head off, slap a little nice head gasket on there, ARP head studs, and uh, pump this thing full of boost. Let's see what it holds. Yeah. Well, that's a fucking eBay distributor anyway, it looks like. What does it say on a rally? I don't know. Look at that fucking 
degreaser dust in this shit real quick. Yeah, it's making it look like dick. Dick. But yeah, so we're power washing this puppy right now. Just borrowed this from my father. It was brand new. Had to assemble it. Okay. We clean this up and uh, throw it on a dolly and set it aside until we're ready to start getting into it. And uh, we'll get back to you in a little bit. All right, well, uh, here's the finished product for today. It's getting dark out. We're winding down, but uh, just cleaned up really good. We just threw this valve cover on it that I had laying around. Obviously, it's not going to work with the color scheme of the car, but for the time being, we just threw it on there. Looks pretty good. What do you mean? It's in color. Look at the right sunlight. <laughs> yeah, right. This thing is extremely clean. We pulled the valve cover off to see how clean the head was, and it looks like a brand new freaking car. Yeah, that's... No oil stains, no nothing, no gunk. It looks really good under the valve cover. Pretty confident that this is going to be a solid motor. So uh, that's what we're going to go with for now. Even the coolant? Oh, yeah. The, uh, no I don't know if you're going to be able to no see it, but no it's like super clean inside the coolant ports, everything. I've never seen it look that clean before. The kid, that, the kid we got it from, he said, uh, you know, the kid kept up on it. He said he's got records, dealer service. Yeah, this, uh, it's got a mobile one oil filter on it. Yeah, I prefer a Honda filter, but... <laughs> No, he wasn't they lying. definitely took care of it though. So, no the, fucking no build up in the no nastiness in the throttle body, nothing. Yeah, it's super clean, like nothing on the plate. Everything looks really good. Pretty confident in this motor. It's gonna it's gonna take a beating for a little while until it pops, but you know, like we said, Cometic head gasket, ARP head studs, timing kit, and uh, we're gonna send it for a little while. On the side, we're gonna build a motor for sure, but. To get this thing up and running and possibly get it to get it down the strip this year oh yeah the oil in it was super clean too it looks dirty not but it, it's clean yeah it's clear it's clean nice it was a very good uh very good purchase for a hundred dollars i don't remember what his name was sorry about that but if you're watching i appreciate this this engine here for a hundred bucks can't go wrong Try and find another LS in this condition for a hundred dollars. Not gonna happen. But um, yeah, I think that's gonna wrap it up for this this video. We're gonna roll this into the garage Fuck and off. work on getting a transmission so we can. Yeah, you got a transmission. Bolt and I'll up. send one this way. You can uh, send it to our PO box. Yeah, you know any subscriber that wants to donate a LS transmission. Cable or hydro, whatever you want to do. Yeah, we'll uh, take fuel anything. Fuel system we also need. <laughs> yeah, anybody's got a clutch, fuel pump, pressure plate, axles. Our, our hundred and I think we're up to like 175 now. Okay. Subscribers, yeah, we're getting we're getting close to 200. All right, start sending some stuff this way. Come on. 200 subscribers out. will probably do another giveaway. We'll let you so. drive it. You guys definitely uh, should be helping us out. Share it on your Facebook. I know I say it all the time, but I don't think it happens very often. Show your mother, show your cousins. It takes two seconds to share it on your Facebook, and that's going to reach another couple hundred people, maybe a thousand if you're popular. So that's going to wrap it up for this video, this episode here. And uh, we're going to keep grinding on this car and get some more content out. So like I said, as always, like, share, and subscribe. Oh, oh.